Hi guys, it's Ariam and it's the Randy the Clown on YouTube. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I really adore Duran Duran, which is why I am going to be doing for you a face paint inspired by one of their most iconic music videos, which is of course Rio. And after seeing the music video, I really love the face paint that this model, Rima Rosponi, has has done for the video. She has this beautiful rainbow bird of paradise, as you would call it, type of color blending, and it's really nice, and I love it. So, what I want to show you is just like a game plan, which I actually googled the image online, and then I drew it out with my oil pastel so this is how it's going to look so like it's like more or less how it's gonna look so so I'm gonna get started right now with, with a little bit of this light green that's gonna go like on the forehead and on the sides of the face I'm going to get to that right now. And, and so this is how it's going to look. Just put a little bit on top of my forehead. Just going to make a little triangle with my sponge. And then I'm going to go alongside my, like the jawbone. It's going to go down like this. So that's done, and next I'm going to use Lagoon Blue for a, little, for a little blend. It's going to give off a nice blend. I'm just sponging a little bit. And then I'm going to go back with a little bit of the light green just to blend it all in. Alright, so next what I'm going to use is some of this bright yellow. And um, what I'm going to use this for is I'm going to make like a rounded shape around the eyebrows and then it's going to go like along the sides of my nose. And so this is a little bit of this yellow. By the way, I'm using Mayron Paradise face paint. And what I'm going to use later is a little bit of snazzaru, which I'm going to show you later on. So it's going to go like around. And down here. I'll put a little bit over the eye too so it'll kind of like look like the exact thing. what I really like about this design is like a lot of the designs are somehow like a quotation perfect but this one is not like 
like on it's mostly on perfect meaning it's like it has like a little bit of a messy look to it because I mean it's really great and I love the colors and like what makes it a lot messy is that the colors are blended together and it has like this nice rainbow effect to it. So the next color I'm going to use is orange and this is gonna go like along the bridge of my nose. So this sponging a little bit on the top and then I'm gonna go down like this. I'm gonna make the orange pop a little bit more by adding some more of the orange from this juicy fruit rainbow cake. It has that bold neon orange to it, so it's gonna kinda like pop, but yeah, you'll get there. Just gonna put a little more yellow to the side. Okay. So now what I'm gonna show you next is I'm going to use a little bit of this lavender from the Snazaru palette. See so yeah, I'm pointing where my finger is at. It's mostly around here. So I'm going to use that. And I have a small brush. Oh, here. I'm going to use a small brush to kind of like go along the cheeks. So it's going to look some like this. I'm just starting off by just painting with my brush. And then I'm going to go over it with my sponge, which will be a lot more easier. Because sponges are a lot easier to work with because they fill in like bigger spaces on your face. Alright, so now I'm going to grab my sponge. And then just fill that in. I just put a little bit on my nose to kind of like blend it. And now I'm going to grab a little bit of the pastel green, which is around here. See where my finger is at? This is like a little pastel green. And then just grabbing that. Just go on over. Go on the upper lip.
do this going over on the side. And then I'm gonna grab some of the rolling like a light sky blue. This one right here. That's gonna go like around the lip. And just go around and out like this. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the green again. To kind of like go over like just a little bit. Now to kind of like give it like a little pop on the chin, I'm going to use a light pink. This is a light pink right here. And just to stab a little bit like this. We can go over a little bit on the cause of the black. I mean, this is like no easy task so far, but I think you probably can see more or less the design coming along. Pretty much like similar to, to this game plan right here. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to incorporate some uh, makeup into this piece. If they say that you could use makeup, like eyeliner or eyeshadow, lipstick. So for the eyes, I'm going to use um, Maybelline, Maybelline Master Drama Eye Studio Eyeliner in Midnight Master, which is a black eyeliner, and it's gonna give that that rainbow bird type of look to the eyes. So. And what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna line it with a little bit of um, black to kind of like make it a little more thicker. Not too thick and not too thin, but it's gonna make it more pop out. And if you want to do this yourself, make sure that the little tips going out from the inner and outer corner of the eye kind of like point out. And just kind of like I know it looks messy because I'm doing this myself, but you probably get the idea. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. Make sure that the tips point out. And then line the top a little. And what I'm going to do is to kind of like make the design pop, just grab a brush. You can use a small brush if you want. And then I'm just going to go over with some of the black face paint. It's, it's FDA approved, so it's great to use like for eyeshadow, eyeliner, lipstick.
I'm just applying a little bit like eyeshadow. Alright, so that's pretty much with the eyes, but I'm going to now do a little mascara. This is the um, Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara in very black. So you can use that to add a little volume to your eyelashes, which I'm going to do right now. Just go a little bit like this. And I'm going to apply a little bit on my bomb, my bomb lashes. Now let me just smudge a little bit of the Alright and so the last thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of color on the lips. So what I'm going to do first is so I'm going to line my lips with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner. I'm sorry. I like lip liner. Sorry, Wet Wild, Wild Color Icon Lip Liner in Berry Red. And this is really, this is really fun to do because Rima actually had like a little bit of color on her lips. Well. Maybe if not, but it, it really makes her face paint more pop out, and it, I really love the color. I'm just going to go over with that. Now comes the fun part, filling it all in. So I'm going to use Maybelline Color Sensational in Are You Ready to make a really nice bold color. It's really fun because even if you don't want to use face paint on your eyes or on your lips, you can use makeup like that to just like incorporate and it will make it a lot more easier to work with too. And now just to give it a little bit of an extra boost, I'm using Fergie Wet n Wild Lip Stain in Vogue Madness, which is like a jelly like lip gloss. Really cool. And finally, I'm going to use CoverGirl Lipstick Smoochie Sizzle Gloss in Violin Flare to give a little extra shine to it. Just going to smudge a little bit. Now I'm just going to go back uh, into the yellow a little bit just to fix up a little. I 
I'm just going over like a little bit of the paint that's that's gonna like cover like the entire face. And best part of it is, I really like that it's, it's mostly messy. But that's okay because I love how the colors blend together. It's like a big rainbow like exploded like on your face. It's really awesome. A little bit more, a little bit more, just to kind of fix it up just a little bit. Alright, so, so that's, wait, hold on, it's just going to add another boost right around here. That's pretty much it. And that's how you do it. That's how you make the real face paint look like unperfect but color worthy. I love the rainbow. I like how it looks so messy because I love the blend of the colors all together and it's really fun to do. And you and if you want, you can, to make it look like you're just like real, you can just do your hair like up in a bun like this. And not really like how I am doing it right now, but you can probably see how you'll be able to take it to another level. So, hope you enjoy it. I know that it's sort of like, like, the color placement can be pretty difficult, but I think you can see where I'm going with this. So, hope you enjoy it, and it's really fun to do. It's been fun sharing this with you, so see you next.